Hi everyone, it's Trish here. I wanted to have a quick word with you about sewing knits on a regular domestic sewing machine. So while I show you the videos using an overlocker, or um, other people call that a serger, um, which is of course a really good machine, the best machine you could have for sewing knits together, some people don't want to tackle knits um, because they think you can only sew them with an overlocker. So that's not the case. Um, if you're serious about sewing with knits, you probably should invest in an overlocker, a basic overlocker is fine, but you can um, start sewing like I did um, with a stretch stitch on a regular sewing machine. So there are a few things you need to know to make sewing knits much more fun and get a better result. Um, and um, the first thing you really need to think about is needles. There's all sorts of needles you can get to sew knits with for a domestic sewing machine. So just like I tell you on my sew along videos, you really need a ball needle or a stretch needle. And um, these can be recommended in your machine book, but generally a ball needle is an essential tool. As well as that, you should lengthen your stitch length from normal. So I have my stitch length on my industrial machine set to um, 5 over 20, um, but that is a setting of 2.5, so up here you'll see 2.5. So when you're sewing um, on a domestic machine, you probably should increase this length to maybe 3.5, but test stitch on spare fabric and the same amount of layers, which is generally two, before you get started and before you set that stitch length dial. Some machines, if you're lucky, have this stitch here, which is an overlocking stitch or an over edge stitch. Um, it looks similar to an overlocker, a serger. Um, it gives you the same effect as that. Um, it makes the um, stitch, so it forms the seam as you go. Um, it doesn't cut it off because we don't have a blade, but it will finish the edge and stitch all in one, which can be quite handy if you're using a 6mm seam allowance. You can simply stitch the width to deal with that, so quarter of an inch, and you can stitch and overlock. And it's a pretty good alternative to an overlocker as well. It does give you um, quite a good strength, and it finishes like a zigzag as well. So the other stitch that is quite useful is this one here, which is the lightning bolt stitch. And often your sewing machine manuals will tell you to use that. So because we get the um, tunneling with the zigzag, which is like this, side to side, the up-down sideways motion of the lightning bolt stops that. Um, and it just helps with that tunneling effect. So that is a really highly recommended stitch as well. So really you just need to experiment with the stitches on your machine um, to decide which one you like best. So when I first started all those years ago sewing knits on a domestic sewing machine, I was taught to use a zigzag stitch. So zigzag um, you can certainly use. It's probably not the best stitch to use on a domestic sewing machine, but you certainly can use it um, and it's really great um, if you don't have an overlocker or a triple straight stitch, um, you can use this. It won't give you a strength of a stitch called the triple stitch, um, but it will stop you from popping seams. So that's the stitch here, just a straight zigzag. A <laughs> straight zigzag, <laughs> just a zigzag. And when you're sewing the zigzag, um, you don't want the width to be too wide. You just want enough to make the fabric have some give. So you'll need to check those settings before you go. So the next stitch that I do like to use is this one here, which is a triple straight stitch. So the triple sta straight stitch is probably my um, first choice. Um, what it will do um, is it makes a really good hem. It's really strong. It stitches... Um, three times, obviously it's triple, goes forward, backward, forward. Um, it's really strong. Um, you can use it on athleisure wear um, and you can use it for hemlines, necklines, cuffs, things like that. So I mentioned the zigzag stitch before. Um, you can also use the three-step zigzag, which is this one here. 
So what the three step zigzag does is um, because the regular zigzag moves forward and backwards like this, um, you can get channels or tunnels on your fabric. Um, when you're sewing lightweight knits that can be a real pain. So the three step zigzag does um, stitches diagonally opposite each other and the side to side pulling that creates that tunneling effect won't happen if you use this one here. So when I'm sewing things like seams on my commercial machine I sew a straight stitch but that is not the one you should really use for sewing knits. So you can use a straight stitch if you're sewing with a twin needle in here um, or stretch thread which is what I tend to put in my commercial machine. So there's a couple of um, reasons why. The main reason is that straight stitches don't have enough um, the polyester thread doesn't have enough give in it so if you pull too too much width ways which a stretch fabric is designed to do the threads will will snap so sewing with a straight stitch basically it means you'll end up with broken stitches um, and you won't be very happy at all so you can get away with straight stitches when you're top stitching um, but generally you want to make sure that stretch stitch <laughs> the stitch you use is nice and long, so three and a half. So apart from those regular stitches, there's also a ton of other stitches that you can experiment with for hemming. Um, stitches such as these um, have that sideways motion, they will let you have stretch, and they'll also give a really pretty finish to a hem if you don't want to use a twin needle. So let's put this all together. You can construct seams with the overlocking stitch. You can use decorative stitches to hem with as well as a twin needle. You can use the lightning bolt stitch here to construct your garments. You can use a zigzag to finish the raw edges and you can construct your garments with it as well. You can use a triple straight stitch here um, for hemming and if you've got athleisure, athleisure wear type garments. But don't use a straight stitch unless you've got speed thread, which is um, a stretch thread, a woolly nylon, something like that. So the best thing to do is to consult your manual, and I can almost guarantee it will tell you to use a lightning bolt stitch or a zigzag. And of course, the stitch you use is going to be dependent on the quality of your machine. Um, don't be um, overawed by the fact you need an overlocker for knits. When you're starting, you certainly don't, and you can get just as good a results by using your regular sewing machine but once you get hooked on using knits um, I can guarantee you'll want to buy a very basic overlocker and see how you like it and once you've started with that you won't look back so thanks for joining me I hope that gives you a little bit of insight into sewing knits on a domestic sewing machine um, don't forget to join my Facebook pattern discussion group and subscribe to my channel Happy sewing. See you again soon.